good job of kind of interspersing the different lineups with to make the teams even. Yeah, yeah. No, we had the draft uh, a couple of days ago. It was fun. We had a big staff meeting. Um, you know, just to mix it up, make it competitive. He wanted it to be good on good, so it was good that way. Um, I'm excited to watch these guys mix it up. Uh, coaches are off the field, you know, so they get out there and be able to just go through their stuff. It'll be very vanilla in terms of the uh, play calling and whatnot, but uh, for the most part, no, nah, it'll be fun to watch them get out there and mix it up and, and go apply some of the things that they've been working on throughout the 14 practices. That uh, Colt Miller swing pass didn't look very vanilla. Oh, man, so <laughs> both sides get one trick play. So it'll happen whenever. So that's what you saw out there today. Okay. So you said there was a draft. That's how you split it up? Yeah. The, okay. Yep. So it was just um, you get this pick, I got the next, like street football, you okay. know, like you would do, you know, in the neighborhood. Is there a prize for the winning team? Not that I know of. <laughs> Bragging rights, I guess, you know. I'm interested to see the two national championship coaches, Coach Conroy, Coach Condos, get out there. There already been some – Jawing back and forth, so it'll be good. It'll be fun to be around them. It'll make it a fun atmosphere. Will they be involved, or will their role be like? Oh, they're the head coaches. They're running everything. Coach Moore has already kind of talked to them about their responsibility, and they make all the calls, whether it's a go for it on fourth to a timeout in a two-minute situation. So they have the range. They're the head coach in every sense. For the position coaches specifically, it's a little interesting because you're going to be on one side, but you're also going to be keeping an eye on the linebackers on the on the other side. What's that going to be like for you? Oh, it's going to be fun, you know. Right now, I'm all blue linebackers, so I'll obviously be watching the tape of both sides, but um, I'm just going to really be focusing on the blue side. How's um, Deshaun's shoulder? Well, he had surgery. I don't know from there. That's the latest I have got. I don't know where he goes from there, what the timeline is for him to be back and whatnot. But, I mean, he was really coming on. You know, he's a guy I was really excited about in the offseason. Um, he came out and was lighting it up early. And then uh, obviously had kind of a freak thing where he kind of rolled and fell on it funny. Um, so they're cleaning it up with the surgery. Hopefully it went well. He's going to come by, I think, tomorrow and meet with me. Uh, but for him, the biggest thing is just going to be rehab and academics. You know, the football stuff will be be there, just but I, that's what I want him focused on is the uh, rehab and the academics. So, going into surgery, was the expectation that he'd be back for fall camp? Yeah, he should be back. Okay. Yeah. Replace Jayon Brown's intangibles on your defense. Sorry. Oh man, with a guy like Josh Woods, you know, <laughs> Josh is incredible. I mean, he's probably, by my estimation, the smartest football player on our team. He knows where everybody's at. He knows all three spots. Um, so we love Jayon, but Josh is really something. I'm excited to watch him play this year. Do you feel like Josh is kind of taking that extra step? And now, now he's a junior. He's been around forever. Mm -hmm. He's still really young, but he's kind of that. It's kind of his time to step up and turn that corner. Yeah, absolutely, and he's feeling that too. You know, a lot of times when you get these young guys, is they kind of they understand the totem pole and kind of stay in their lane. Even when Miles was having the success that he had early on, it was kind of that, like still stay in his lane. And you got the upperclassmen, and that's now Josh's time to go from that to higher up on the totem pole and kind of start to level up and become that guy. And I think he's embracing that coming, you know, with that. What have you thought of Mike's progression this spring? It gets better every day, just a little bit. Um, I think the biggest thing is he's showing up to work every day, and he's stable that way, and he's becoming uh, the guy that I recruited, just from a personality, a demeanor. He seems happier. He's developing his voice. Um, he wants more on his plate now, whereas in the past it was, let me take some off of his plate. But he gets a little bit better. He's already lost about 10 pounds. Uh, he's probably got, a, I would say, about another 15 to go. I think with a big time summer program and a big time training camp, he'll be he'll be okay. But no, he's really really coming on and, and really developing, and he's I think gonna be okay. I really do. Do you foresee him being able to get some playing time this season? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We got 28 practices in the fall, so he just continued to get really really just better and better. But the biggest thing for us early on was just to get him stabilized, you know, and get him to show up every day and get him to, to be dialed into what we're doing. He's done that. I mean, he didn't miss one practice this spring. He didn't miss one rep. So that was very positive. And his body is changing. His movement's changing. His confidence. I mean, there's just so many things, so many levels that he still has to go. But uh, I would say the, the arrow is trending up right now. The NCAA uh, approved, uh, I think, tentatively another position coach. Would you be in favor of maybe giving up special teams if, if, it, if it came to that? Or would you like to hold on to that? Uh, I'm going to do whatever the team needs, honestly. <laughs> so if they want me to still do the special teams, that's great. Um, but if not, if it's the best for the team to have just a special teams coach that just can focus on that, 
I'm all for that. At the end of the day, we're judged on 12 Saturdays, man. Did you win or did you lose? So however we arrive at that, I'm fine for it. Is that has that been hard for you though to do linebackers and special teams? They seem very different and you can be kind of torn in, in two different ways. Well, I think the most challenging part is to manage both because I'm so involved with the defense. People don't realize how much of that goes into it. So it's sometimes hard that way because I'm so involved now. If I was lesser involved on defense, just in terms of the game plan, the adjustments on game day, those things, then it would be a little bit easier. Um, but we got a great staff in terms of we try to uh, approach it like it's an all hands on deck type of situation where everybody's involved, everybody's voice is heard, everybody's, you know, got their hands on the special team. So it's a collective effort, you know, throughout our staff already. Awesome.